Hello again, I promised a look into Google Sites a little bit more, in, in particular the More menu. And I want to go over some of the options that you can use in here when setting up a classroom site or ePortfolio or any other option that you want to use Google, Google Sites for in education. When I drop the menu, you can see it's a little intimidating. There's a lot going on here, but I think over the next couple minutes we'll be able to clear up a lot of what this is. First and foremost, the first uh, titles are in bold, so page actions, page templates, and site actions. The difference between page actions and site actions are in page actions, these are events that will happen only for the current page of the website that you are in. The difference between a web page and a website is that a web page is an individual page on your, on your website. The website itself is the collection of all of the web pages. So first you'll see here revision history, a great tool given to us by, by Google, and if at any time I want to see or step back through the edits that happened on my website, or excuse me, this particular web page, if I click on this, it will take me into that location, and you can see there's versions of each of my Google Sites. This is one of the most powerful features in both Google Docs or Google Drive and Google Sites, because I can step back at any point to recent times, recent edits, I can check them out and see what they looked like at that time, or at any point I can also revert to that previous version, which is wonderful. It's like a live archive of your entire website that you can move back back to at any time so that's very powerful I'm gonna come back to the website here and I'm gonna come back in here under page actions you'll see I also have the subscribe to page changes options when we get into sharing and how to share the pages you may want to add additional editors to your particular web page or page site or excuse me website if you want to subscribe to when this particular page, let's say your home page, uh, has changes edited to it, you can click on subscribe page changes and that will let you know via email every time that a change has been made. So that could also be very useful. Page settings, if I click on that, it's pretty simple options. It just allows me to turn on or off some features. You can see here I currently have attachments and comments unchecked. If I turn those on, you'll see some of the options. Um, when I click save, you will notice that at the bottom of this page I have the opportunity to add files so I can attach uh, PDFs or any other type of uh, file to this particular web page and I also have the comment section so if you want to allow people to comment or start threads on your web page you can do so by using the comments feature. Back to more I have a print page pretty self-explanatory delete page you notice this is grayed out right now because I am on my home page I cannot delete the home page on a Google site. However, if I was to navigate down to period one here and I went to more, you would see that print page, or excuse me, delete page is here. And I also have a move option as well if I want to change the order or uh, the position in the navigation for this particular page. I'm going to come back to home just to continue with the walkthrough here, the more options. I can preview this page as a viewer, so if I was to do that, it would pop open a new tab for me. I'm, I'm using Google Chrome here, and you'll see that Google's telling me I'm preview, I'm previewing this page as a viewer. So this will, it'll, this is what it will look like to the entire world, what others will see in your, in your page. I'm going to close this tab and just come back to my, my original edit window here. Now I get into page templates. Page templates are unique because um, if you want to have a, a logo, maybe a school symbol, a mascot, uh, a series of social media icons on all of your individual web pages, this becomes really useful because you can you can set one web page the way you want it to look and then save that web page as the template and what Google will allow you to do is in sites you can apply that template to each time, or excuse me, each uh, new web page that you create inside of your website really powerful and then if you want to change the way it looks or the change the look and feel of that that page template you can do it right here some site actions subscribe to entire site changes very much like the subscribing to the page uh, changes except this will give you a notification anytime anything on the site is edited the site layout is, is pretty useful you'll see if I choose that I get a nice little feature here where uh, a, a unique editing bar where I can change uh, both or, excuse me turn on the header turn on or off the sidebar I can change my navigation from the uh, left side navigation to horizontal navigation and some other unique features here most notably though is uh, on my navigation bar over here I can edit it right from this space come in and 
have some uh, at least some initial settings. But what I like about this is if I hit this plus button, I can add some features to this side navigation. And you can check these out. Sometimes teachers love the countdown uh, feature because what it does is it allows you to count down uh, to a certain day or gives you uh, you know some some features that you can set the date and you can uh, you know count down to the last day of school or winter break or or whatever you choose. I'm going to close that for now. I'm going to mention one more, and that's just simply the plus one button. Really nice feature now that ties to Google Plus. If I choose to add the plus one button, nice and easy. Now when visitors come to my site, if they choose the plus one the site, it will be shared as uh, you know a popular a popular resource. I'm going to close this for now and come back to more. You'll see I also have the edit site layout that will allow me to change. Oh, I'm sorry, we already did that. Excuse me. We do uh, manage site. We're going to come back. We'll do another video on this as it's much more in depth. I can also look at sign up for AdSense, uh, which will allow me to place ads on my website if, if you want to. Um, sharing and permissions will give me the same options to edit this web page or website as the share button up here. And uh, I'm going to go into that a little bit deeper on a, another video. Sites help takes you to the help page, and then there's also an opportunity to report an issue to Google about your site itself. So there's an introduction to the more features uh, on Google Sites, and uh, we'll continue with our tutorials in the class. Thank you.